They're common stinging nettle, a plant that we're all familiar with, but do you know how to turn the fresh plant into a super strong rope? If you don't, let me quickly show you how. So we're after the fibres in the stinging nettle. You can strip away the leaves in one swift motion without getting stung. And then give the stalks a firm rub down. You want to go for mature, tall nettles. Making cordage is one of the oldest tricks in the book and a skill that our ancestors knew all about. So you want to find a stick that resembles a rolling pin and we're going to roll out the stalks and break down the pith so that we can get to the fibres. So once we've got the crushed stalk, we want to carefully split it down the middle with our thumbnail. Then you want to gently prise it open and flatten it out. Bend the stalk in the centre and snap the pith. So the pith is the tough stuff in the centre, but we're after those soft fibres on the outer side. Just to note, the pith makes great tinder when dried out. Once you've peeled away the fibres from the pith, you just want to strip them down as finely as you can and as close as you can to a hair-like structure. The whole process of making and cordage can be very meditative. You can find yourself lost in a very grounded headspace. Right, so in a fairly short period of time, you can gather up a lot of these fibers, and this is what you're after. Now we want to twist the fibers together. We continue to twist until the fibers kink. The kink is our starting point. So this is the basic method for all cordage. It's a simple twist over and down, and you just repeat this process. You can continuously lengthen the cord by adding more fibers to the process. And that is how you make this crucial survival material. Follow for knowledge.